Welcome to our video on coordinates and translations. The aim of this unit is to understand what coordinates are, to be able to write coordinates accurately, and also to move shapes along the grid. Our objectives for this unit is that you can be able to explain the key vocabulary connected to coordinates. You can write coordinates accurately using brackets and it can move shapes along the grid and write the new coordinates. But first, what are coordinates? Coordinates are used to give positions on a grid. Over here is a grid. It has an X axis, which is along here, it's our horizontal axis. And it also has a vertical axis, and this is called the Y axis. Both of these axes start here, at zero. And this is called the origin. Coordinates are written as two numbers, and they're separated by a comma, and they're contained within brackets. For example, the coordinate 4, 2. The first coordinate refers to the X axis, so 4. The second number refers to the Y axis, 2. So here, on our grid, this coordinate, once it starts at 0, is 4 across and 2 up, which is 4, 2. Here's another one. Remember, we always start from the origin here. So to work out where this cross is, I go 2 along the x-axis and I go 3 up the y-axis. Therefore, my coordinate is at 2, 3. So for some coordinates questions, you may be asked to write the different letters on the grid. Let's look at A. A is over here. To get to A, I start at 0, and I go 2 across, and I go 10 up. So our coordinate is 2, 10. Let's look at B. I start down here again. I go along 5 and up 6. So my coordinate is 5, 6. C, which is over here, I go along 9 and up 9, so C is 9, 9. And D, I go 2 across and 2 up, which is 2, 2. You may be asked to check the coordinates for different letters. So I pose the question, is L at 8, 3? Start from here. 8 across, 3 up, no, L's not at 8, 3. Is H at 3, 10? Start from the beginning again, 3, 10. No, H is not at 3, 10. And is I at 6, 7? 6 across, 7 up, yes, I is at 6, 7. You may be given some coordinates and asked to draw shapes. Down here are four coordinates. Let's try to plot them. 1, 1, 1, 1, 5, 1, 5, 1, 5, 5, 5, 5, and 1, 5, 1, 5. If I draw all these lines together, there, 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 and there, we can see that we have a square. Move on to translation. You may be asked to move a shape. This is called translation. It means moving a shape into a different position without changing it in any way. This blue rectangle here is my first shape. Its coordinates are 0, 1, 0, 2, 2, 2, and 2, 1. And this shape is going to be moved three squares to the right and two squares up. I would always recommend you choose one of the corners. So I'm going to start here at C. 
and I'm going to move this three squares over and two squares up. I now redraw the shape from this same corner. Here we go. I've got some new sets of the coordinates. A is at 3, 3. B is at 3, 4. C is at 5, 4. And D is at 5, 3. Finally, you may be asked to work out how a shape has been moved and to write the new coordinates. So if we start with a blue shape here, we've got to try and work out how the green shape has moved. And again, I'd recommend you start from a position on one of the corners. Again, I'm going to start at C. To get from C here to C here, the shape has had to move along to the right one and to move down two. So with this question here, by moving my blue shape to my green shape, I start at C and I move along to the right one and move down two. My new coordinates are A is two one, B is two two, C is four two, and D is four one. To finish this unit, I'm just going to go over once more the key vocabulary. Coordinates are written as two numbers separated by a comma and are contained within brackets. And these are used to give positions on a grid. A grid has two axes. The horizontal axis is called the X axis and the vertical axes are called the Y axis. The origin is a zero point where the X axis and Y axis start on the grid. And finally, translation means moving a shape into a different position on the grid without changing it in any way. There are some worksheets for all of the things we've covered during this unit. Have a go.